exclusive inside Liberace's once opulent home. How time has tarnished the luxurious luster. Uh, he would spin in his grave, I'm pretty sure. And will it ever be restored? Plus, comedian George Wallace, the one thing he does before each show. And the Vegas man who took second place in the World Series of Poker. Who wants to see the lead poker table, <laughs> I couldn't tell you, I didn't win. We reveal his big ticket buys and why he'll never wear glasses at the poker table. Your access to entertainment starts now. Get more Las Vegas. More. More. I love to get more. When I'm in Vegas, I love to get more. Welcome to More Access on this Thursday evening. I'm Sean McAllister. And I'm Maria Silva in for Rachel Smith, who is on assignment interviewing the cast of The Hunger Games Catching Fire. And if you need to catch up on that series or just watch from the beginning, coming up, we will tell you how to do it in luxury right here in Vegas. But first tonight, Liberace's one-time Vegas residence has turned from a landmark into an eyesore. But with a new owner, that could all change. In a more exclusive, we take you inside for the very first time. Mr. Carson, he's expecting you. I call this palatial kiss. Wow. This is how Liberace's home appeared in the Emmy-winning movie Behind the Candelabra. But this is his real one-time home here in Las Vegas. Now run down and a victim of neglect, the house is in desperate need of attention to restore its grandeur. And it's because of the Michael Douglas movie that the once opulent home now has a new owner. I watched the movie and I thought it was fabulous. I made up my mind within 10 minutes of coming here. I felt I had a duty to protect it. For the first time, Moore is invited inside the walls of Liberace's home for an exclusive tour from the new owner and Liberace fan, Martin Ravenhill. This is one of the very, very famous rooms. This ceiling was painted by a descendant of Michelangelo. Now, apparently it cost an absolute fortune, something like $1.3 million. This is Liberace's bedroom. Now, uh, a lot of things are missing, but I know they're out there and I've been contacted by so many fans. I think with the support of the fans and the support of the foundation, we'll be able to do something quite splendid here. Now, this is the famous bath, marble bath, and which appeared in uh, his opening. So all of the shows, if you watch the TV programs and that, I've been able to watch them through YouTube. I have to have these reproduced, some of these fixtures are missing. The hot tub in itself is in pretty good shape. These actual columns, uh, they are from Europe. They are original. This staircase here was purchased in Paris, and it was bought over from Paris at incredible expense. It does need a lick of paint, a bit of varnish, but uh, apart from that, in good condition. At the top of the stairs is the sunroom, where Liberace loved to relax. This is Liberace's favorite room. It's known as the Moroccan room. These copper tiles here are very special. They actually come from Morocco. I f unfortunately do have a few missing around this fire grate here, but to try and find these pieces, it's a good job I have some international contacts. While finding these tiles may seem like a tough task, it's just one part of a massive renovation for Ravenhill. It is not a small project, it's a gargantuan project actually. <laughs> um, a little bit scary, but as I said, I, I do have the stomach for it and I want to do it right. But Ravenhill thinks it's an important project, especially when thinking of what Liberace would think about the home's current condition. If I, he would spin in his grave, I'm pretty sure. So the bars, bathtubs, chandeliers and fixtures will now have a new lease on life thanks to a fan who wants to keep history alive. Wow, such an amazing place, and especially given the success of Behind the Candelabra, the Michael Douglas, Matt Damon movie. You know, it really is nice to know that somebody now owns that property who does want to bring it back to life. Yeah, and, and again, it was sad to see the museum when that closed down, so it'll be great, hopefully, another big museum in town, Liberace. Absolutely. Such history in Vegas. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and Ravenhill has been a fan of Liberace all his life, and it was because of the flashy entertainer that Ravenhill actually started playing piano as a young 
young child. And it's great again that he bought that. It certainly Bring is. Bring it back to its glory. Well, they